The Caucasus, Republic of Georgia, turns a political page this Sunday. It's to hold a presidential election that will mark the end of a tumultuous chapter under outgoing reformist President Mikhail Saakashvili. The frontrunner in this election is 44-year-old philosopher Georgi Margvelashvili, a confidant of Prime Minister Bujina Ivanishvili, whose Georgian Dream Coalition ousted Saakashvili's cabinet in a parliamentary election last year. Opposition and the majority in the parliament has completely agreed on the basic uh, directions of our of our development, which is specifically very specifically noted that the, it, our integration into Europe and Euro-Atlantic structures is the overall goal of, of of our national foreign policy. At the same time, we were pretty effective to show possibility of decreasing temperature with Russia. Another of the leading candidates is Nino Borjanadze, who helped lead the Rose Revolution in 2003, which brought Saakashvili to power. She later fell out with the president and favors rebuilding ties with Moscow and setting aside NATO ambitions. Unfortunately, I can't see any real political steps from the Georgian government, effective and decisive steps to speak with Russians. And until Russian troops are on Georgian territory, Georgia has no chance to be a member of NATO. It does not mean that we should not continue cooperation with NATO, but speaking about membership, this is a lie. Then there is David Bagradze, a member of Saakashvili's United National Movement running for the presidency also. With pipelines that carry oil and gas towards Europe, Georgia is strategically important. If we want to be a normal country, we should be normal European democracy member of the European institutions, member of the Euro-Atlantic security institutions. And there is no other choice for Georgia. Territorial integrity and freedom of choice are two basic elements which I will never sacrifice for the sake of improving relations with Russia. But for the rest, yes, why not? We should talk. Not only Saakashvili is leaving, billionaire Prime Minister Ivanishvili has said he is going too. The impending exit of the two rivals casts uncertainty over Georgia, which fought and lost a five-day war with Russia over breakaway regions in 2008.